The last semi-final of this JP Morgan Tournament of Champions underway here live in New York City. Game on, PJ. I think we're going to have to buckle in and this is going to be a long ride. First game especially, trademark start from Cole. He'll be looking to put a 20-minute minimum duration on this first game. Getting to the legs and the head of Elias. We talk, often talk about the technical side of the game and the physical side, but this for me is purely about the mental aspect for Paul Cole. Just trying to send out that message to Diego Elias. If he's going to have any joy tonight in this match, he's going to be out there for a very long time indeed. I mean, this first rally is longer than the majority of the spectators' games. And that's not a bad way to finish. Sending out a message. And out one love. He's got to back himself when the balls are loose. I mean, he doesn't want to get anything cheaply away. He's not going to be under a massive amount of pressure at the front of the court in the early stages from Cole. He needs to find his time. Anyone playing Cole, PJ, needs to know that they're going to be on court for a long period of time. And that's just, that's going to happen no matter what. If you start accepting that, I think that does help with the campaign that's mounted against Curl. It's another very long rally.
this rally alone has just crept over the two minute mark. Just to assure, uh, assure all of you viewers that this will not continue in this fashion. It will start Get to down. open up. At the moment, the ball is very warm and bouncy and it's pinging around the court. So the players are just waiting for that to soften up and settle a little bit more before they start taking that ball into the front of the court more frequently. It was a good area for Cole last night against the Suki. Front left-hand corner, his counter drops were working very nicely. It was the longest opening first game you ever played, PJ. What I am, um, first term pro at... 17, Joey. I, the, the guy came over from Australia to the Essex. Uh, it was the Rackets Country Club in Stamford Le Hope in Essex. Uh, a guy called Joe Shaw from the UK. From the UK, and he had a small paddock of about 10 players. And one of the goals that he used to set us was to make the first and, uh, game last for 30 minutes. That was the challenge. And if you could do that, then uh, you could. <laughs> Send your opponent to sleep, led, basically, <laughs> and uh, just break him down mentally. I mean, obviously, we've seen a fair few lengthy games on the PSA World Tour, Joey. Um, James Wilstroff and Gregory Gautier springs to mind, but what about yourself? Well, I mean, I don't want to put the viewers off because I think that this, this first game will be a long first game. Yeah. But I don't want them to start to get seasick. But um, Two off. No, I, my, mine was 59 minutes, my <laughs> first game with Aaron Frankham, and it was uh, it was very, very boring. Um, <laughs> and it was in the World Championships. It was... Uh, last, the two games after that were relatively short, but it was just ridiculous. I know. I forgot that you were actually able to, to move the ball into the, the front of the court used to happen on quite a regular occasion. Diego Elias here is too, too much of a gifted squash player and too squash savvy to not try and manoeuvre balls around just a little bit. He's got so much subtle deception. For his cause, I hope that when he does move the balls around, they are nice and accurate because at times he can pad it around. He didn't do it against Moment, he was very accurate with yeah. against Moment. But he can pad it around, they can be quite heavy when he's taking balls into the front. That's what I loved about kind of Shabana's game and James Wallstrop's game is that even from the word go, they would back their ball control and look to work balls tightly around the court and start utilising the four corners from the beginning. 100%, yep. yep. Made it look so kind of easy. And the court feel big for the opponent because they were forced to travel into the extremes and that's that's the issue for Colt. If he's not entirely confident in the short game, Three, two. can make the odd unforced error. Abdullah El Tamimi there from Qatar, another player that works with Rodney Martin up at the Ottridge Club in Connecticut. Yeah, he's good friends with Diego Elias. Ten minutes on the clock, six minutes, sorry, six points on the board. 
Oh, he's cut oh, he's... in. It was a lovely initial drop from Carl. And out. Lovely initial Four drop. Three. Playing the ball, which he should have done. This was the right shot to play. Hopefully that won't deter Cole, DJ, from taking that ball in when he has got the opportunity, particularly into that front left-hand corner. So a few unforced errors Five, creeping in three. from Paul Cole. It's that balance between moving Elias around the court, but we'll keep the ball out of the tin as well. Beautiful. Nicely done. Hand out four or five. It's there for the taking. Now when these shots do come up like this, he's got to take those opportunities. Locked in at the mid stage of this first game. down the middle he's actually laid that ball in quite tight to a degree but Cole catching out the Peruvian and as we surpass 15 minutes we're up to five all in the first game while he was playing. It was unfair for that. That was way too late. That was no, way no, too late. No, he it's, played it and you that was way too late. We, we, it wasn't. I was talking to you. Around. Player review. No, 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 no. Yes, no, 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 no. Close the door. It's my decision. He looked like Close for the door, 10 seconds. Mr. Elias. Close That's the not door. right. Player review. That's not right. Call. That's not right. Well, we've got our first review. The original decision being a let ball did actually stop and ask. He was Follow lunging as he rules. played this, so we we'll probably see the... Follow the rules. Follow the rules. It's probably going to be upheld, Mr. Elias. say. Yeah. Mr. Elias. S sufficiently There'll experience. be no conversation like that. Mr. Elias. Mr. Elias. Mr. Elias. 
there'll be no conversation like that. The decision will be made and you will accept it and we will continue to play. No discussion like that. That decision was because it hit during play. It's five all on the left side. Yes, what? I don't know why he's shaking his head so much. He's got the left ball. <laughs> Doesn't need to get distracted by how long it took for Paul Cole to review because it didn't actually take him that long. He was quite shocked that it was a let ball. And this is the part where he can go a little bit walkabout mentally, and you see the change. And he's, you know, it's you know, from the players from just before your era, PJ, and obviously through. I mean, they just wouldn't bat Six an eyelid five. at something like that. No, you just get on with it. And you just play. get on with it yeah. and focus, and yeah, not 100%. be, uh, you know, scrunching your face up. You wouldn't even look at your coach in the crowd. That's nice from Cole. He's getting onto it nicely. He's using that speed to attack a bit more with his movement and then keeping it nice and simple in those front corners. This ball softened up quite quickly. There's a bit of a change in the ball already. And out six, seven. Tight work from Ilias. Ball glued to the left hand side wall. Certainly one for the purists, this one, Joey. These very lengthy rallies, a lot of action into the back two corners. Not too much into the front of the court just yet. Yeah, I mean, as long as the accuracy levels are up. I mean, I, you know, I love all the subtle variations that a lot of people they're kind of looking at, thinking, oh, they're just hitting it up and down. But if you look at where on the wall they're hitting it, there's a lot more to it than just the attritional grind. Clear in time. He's clear in time. Six seven on the right side. Oh, PJ, let's get a prediction on the time for this first game. Uh, Twenty-four minutes. I reckon we'll go, go a bit. 24. You're going to go more? Going to go 27. to 19 minutes so far PJ locked in at 7 all unless something happens quite drastic in the next few minutes I think my prediction is going to go for a Burton
Hand out. Eight, seven. And there you see Gregory Gautier, oh, Wael El Hindi and Jonathan Power. You've got a Canadian, a Frenchman and an Egyptian. Sounds like a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Walking to a bar. <laughs> Walking to Vanderbilt Hall. This is good work from Colt. Starting to make Elias do some work here. Why? Because he was, you were close enough to him and there was a consideration of where to hit that shot. So it's 8-7 and it's on the right side, Cole to serve. Oh, control, cold. Oh, I can't believe it. He's completely misjudged that. It's like he slips on a banana. Hand out, eat all. See this here. Eat all. Good effort from Elias to go through and play that. Managed to keep it tight as well. It's more like it, PJ. A bit loose it's there. To El Cole. The ball is not away there. Yeah, it's it's got the stroke. I'm that was glad loose. There's a couple it. of tight balls Nine and then eight. pulling it out. Been penalised for that. There. It's a bit soft, actually. Could have, could have played that ball for me. to see Cole's movement just long way round past the position of Elias. Oh, just that is terrific. Enough, didn't it? Just enough extra on it. Came in. And there, the wrist coming into and play. Nine all. Enough weight on the ball to get past Cole. Bang. from Cole game ball for Elias he was down heavy in this first game, game. It was a couple of unforced errors from the Kiwi 10-9 game ball game ball 25 minute duration first game so far Well, Cole, giving a bit of a tea, taste of the old medicine. Like two points. This time on the backhand side coming up and just whipping it past. Elias did it a few rallies previously on the forehand. Into a tie break.
gone for the leisure centre boast. <laughs> it's a big time to pull that shot off. It's tight. Still it goes on. away at your peril PJ oh my word the control go. 11, the balance 10. through that shot that game was ball. ridiculous shot second game ball Scott stroke to call Player review, Elias, on the stroke decision. The ball is way in the front. The ball is way in the front. And he comes up with this magic to get himself into these game ball scenarios and then lets himself down. That's the second stroke he's given away. The back end of this first game, PJ. He's reviewing it. I don't know if this is going to get much luck there. I mean, the ball is a little bit in front of Diego Elias, but the way that... This is experience from Cole, he's just put the racket behind Elias here. Stroke to call, decision upheld. No, it was your shot, Mr. Elias. 11 all, hand up. So the stroke upheld, Cole draws level once again at 11 all. Down to, it's down to the Puma every time. He comes up with something that bit extra to get himself in pole position. Third time lucky. Possibly for him, 12-11. Pace has gone up here. Cross courts coming in from Elias. Just trying to find that width, and that's a stroke. Yeah, it's a stroke. Game to Elias, 13 11. There you go, Elias takes the first game. It's got to be close to 30 minutes for this first. The last semi final of tonight's play, and it's bang on 30. And it's a one game to love lead for the number four seed.